Hi Ellen, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Today I am actually going to do, or attempt to do, a makeup tutorial for y'all. I have never done a makeup tutorial. I have watched a lot of makeup tutorials. And I love makeup tutorials, but I rarely ever see, if ever, anyone that looks like I do. Um, and that's fine, because the world's full of amazingly beautiful women and men who do makeup, and they do it very, very well. But I, I don't know, I just never see anyone that looks quite like I do, and so I just kind of wanted to try, and we'll see how it goes. Um, but like I said, I've never done a makeup tutorial, and I don't think I've ever really done a video that was quite this personal before, because y'all are going to be up in my space, and you're going to be seeing my forehead wrinkles probably. But, um, so just a little bit of background, my mother is Korean, my father is Caucasian, and um, yeah, so I am mixed. Now on my father's side, there's some English, some Welsh, and some German, a little bit of a hodgepodge going on in there, um, oh, and some Irish, did I say Irish? I don't know, English, Irish, Welsh, German, yeah. So we're kind of a mix. On that side, I know my mother's from South Korea. So, because of my mixed heritage, I am very tall, and I'm probably a lot heavier than my mother would like because I do not look like the K-pop teeny tiny girls. I am fluffy and fabulous and very full-figured. Um, but, because of my mixed heritage, I do have naturally curly hair. Now, I, did, I do have it curled right now because I'm gonna try and do something with it and we'll see if that even works out. But, um, so that's because of, you know, my father's side. Excuse me. And then I also have freckles. So that's another thing that I got from my dad. And then from my mom, I have, my eyes are naturally almond shaped, but like pretty much all other Asians, um, I have very little real estate going on here. Like I don't have much. So um, cause my eyes are, they call them hooded. And I do have a little bit of a crease, but I think that's because I'm fluffy, not so much because I have like amazingly creased eyes. Um, so yeah. But that being said, like I said, I have watched a lot of amazing tutorials and I've seen a lot of beautiful humans putting on makeup, but I rarely ever see any that have looks like mine, especially when it comes to eyes and eye real estate. So what I'm gonna try and do is, because I'm super into the vintage retro 1950s style, I am going to attempt that kind of a look on my face, and we'll see how it goes. Um, but like I said, very little real estate. I see lots of beautiful videos, and I'm gonna see if I can't try and do something with these hooded eyes of mine, and we'll see how it goes. Today, I am actually using, um, most of my cosmetics are going to be the um, cosmetics from The Balm, and they are amazing. I've had a lot of fun playing with them. And now I only have a few items from them. And then like for my eyebrow, I have, there's actually an eyeshadow in one of the palettes from the balm that I use. And then I use my Kat Von D. It's a pomade for your eyebrows. And it's in the um, aubergine color because my hair is actually kind of plummy. And so, and this is literally like the only eyebrow anything that I could ever find that's not blonde, brunette, black, or red hair, like auburn. And so this one's actually a true aubergine and it is amazing. But sometimes it gets a little carried away from me and I end up with some fierce looking eyebrows that look like they're about ready to arm wrestle somebody. So today we're gonna try and not do that because it's a little scary. I also have um, Urban Decay. I have their uh, Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid. And then I have my um, Pore primer is actually from Benefit, and it's the Professional. And I love, this is like my all-time favorite face primer. It goes on and it feels so good, it's like a glove. And it helps to like reduce some of what nature has decided to bless me with because I get older. So um, I am 45, I'm not going to hide it, I'm not going to lie about it, I am proud of my age. Many, many humans don't get to live to be as long as I have or be as blessed as I am. So that being said, um, we're going to go ahead and get started and I will show you the, um, the balm cosmetics that I use as we go forward. So I've already moisturized my face and I use a little Burt's Bees for that. 
Um, yeah, one, one of the things I love about the Benefit Pore Fiction is a little bit goes a really long way. And so I just kind of squeeze some out of the tube and I just kind of slap it on. Um, it does come out kind of like a wiggly worm, so that's kind of interesting. And I just apply it to my face like I would my face cream and it it does its thing, it spackles. Um, I do have my nose pierced, so I'm actually going to take my piercing out because, yeah. Anyway. Go under the eyes. I use it on my lids if I remember to, otherwise, whatever, it is what it is. That's all on my face. That's interesting. I am very nearsighted, but I'm also at the age now where I'm needing bifocals, possibly even trifocals. I'm fighting the good fight, y'all. I haven't done it yet. I need to, though. And I'd like to get some new frames. I'd like to get some little cat eye frames. It would be pretty sexy. I think I could rock the living crap out of some cat eyes. But anyhow, I digress. <coughs> Excuse me. Nothing wets your whistle like some good old lemonade. Okay. This part always confuses me because I never know. Like, are you supposed to do your foundation first or your concealer? Or concealer first and then foundation. I'm never really sure. I'm going to go ahead and start with concealer because I don't know why else. Because why not? And I'm actually going to use my Handa Dandy Compact from the balm that comes with the... Um, Mary Luminizer, Illuminizer. This stuff is legit, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so on my wand, I just kind of put that underneath on my dark spots. I also have this weird thing because I managed to scratch myself at night in the dark because, yeah. And then um, I have a Siamese twin trying to grow right there, so he's gonna get colored as well. I don't know what you are, so you're gonna get covered. I think that's an old blemish. So yeah, um, down by my nose, because that's often a source of contention for me. I do not cover my freckles. And you'll see that um, the foundation I'm using is actually a tinted moisturizer. I hate the word moist. It's one of those words for me. But this is the Balm Shelter from the Balm. And it's a tinted moisturizer with an SPF of 18, and it's a broad spectrum SPF. And I love this stuff because it's sheer. I don't, I like my freckles. I've never had a problem with my freckles. I don't mind my freckles. They're just a part of my face. So I don't mind them. All right, I got my little spongy sponge thing. I don't even know what you call these. Excuse me. I'm not being a lie. When these first came out, I thought they were like weird face butt plugs because that's what they look like. So that was probably like the most crudest thing ever, but sorry y'all, I'm just saying. And to this day, I still refer to them as butt plugs. Is that bad? So I've got my face butt plug and I am going to attempt to smush all this stuff all over my face in the areas where I put it down. This is also a nice butt, face butt plug, which actually kind of sounds disgusting. So maybe I'll have to start calling them something else. All right, my little friend here needs to go away. Okay. And then under this eye. All right, I'm like all hunched over. Like all. Oh my precious. A little gollumy action for you. Okay, so that'll do. Now, the ball. Dun, dun, dun. This is literally um, a little goes a long way. This is kind of like the face primer stuff. It's amazing how just a, a dollop will do ya. Okay, so like I said, this is the balm and this is the tinted moisturizer. Okay, sorry, I'm hoping I'm not covering up the whole entire. I have a mirror here, but like I said, I'm blind as a damn bat fighting the good fight and yeah 
So we're back in with the butt plug. And we're gonna smooshy dish all over. And like I said, it just kind of tints my skin and it helps to you know make the color more uniform on my face. But without I wouldn't say it's a total coverage. Like some people really want to cover up like all their freckles and everything that goes on in their face. And I feel like I'm just too old for all that, y'all. I got wrinkles. I got freckles. It's okay, y'all. You will survive. It's it's okay. I promise. You know, nobody wants to get older, and yet here we all are. I am going to pin this up a bit more because it's in my way. Okay. Isn't that sexy? Like honestly, like head scarves are so sexy. I don't even, I don't know why we don't do this every day. This should be like everyday thing. I'm gonna wear a scarf. Okay, so that's that. And I get really good coverage with it. But again, it's not, um, it's not covering up everything, everything, but it's definitely making things a little more smooth and I like that. And I like the fact that it's a little bit translucent so you can still see my freckles because I don't mind them. And I know that's kind of a weird thing, but I really don't. Um, so yeah. Next, I have the Sexy Mama Translucent Powder from The Balm. And this stuff is amazing. And I use Eco Tools brushes. Um, a friend of mine, she's actually really a friend, she's actually one of the people that really kind of introduced me into using cosmetics and things that are more sustainable as well as things that are more um, healthy for the planet and your body. And so I, I blame her for my obsession with Eco Tools. So this is their big fluffy brush that, because it's a big fluffy brush, it attracts everything. Anyway, so it's the big one and I just go into the I love this stuff, it's so nice. And then you just kind of smear it on your face. Oh, and I love the fact that this also has a mirror. I love their packaging because their packaging is so pretty and a lot of it is paper. And um, I haven't done it, but from what I understand, you can actually pop the palettes out of the little paper ones. And then you can actually, they actually sell um, like a, a an actual palette that you can actually accumulate all of your palettes and a palette keeper. Anyhow, a palette compact, permanent palette compact. Anyhow, uh, so they do have those available. Um, I just use it as is. But yeah, so I love the fact that there's a little mirror here and I love their packaging because it's very eco-friendly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and smear all this all over my face. And I do glow my eyes. I know some people don't, I do, whatever. Um, let's see, and then after this, I will do, let's see, let's do bronzer. Now, I wanted the bronzer from the balm, but they didn't have the color I wanted. So I am actually using one from Avon, and it's a Smooth Minerals one. And I've had this for, for I've had this for a while. I blow off the excess off the lid, and it's the... Smooth Minerals by Avon. I don't know what color this is. It's Blush Copper Glow. Funny, so I don't know what language it is. I think it's French, but it's like blush slash fard. I thought it said fart. Okay, moving on. So, from what I understand, you put the bronzer like here, I guess, and then you put your blush and then your highlighter. So we'll see if this works out right. I don't do this kind of makeup very often, you guys. I do it literally, honestly, I think the last time I actually did my makeup and actually went all out with my makeup was for my youngest daughter's JROTC ball. That was over a year ago. How sad is that? So, cheeks. And go under. And then under here. And this is just another eco brush. It's just a little one. I don't honestly know what the names of the brushes are. I don't make up that way. And then we will put a little hair on our forehead. 
and on our nose and on our chin. Okay. So that's the bronzer. I don't even know how good of a job I did because I can't really see very well. Okay. Now for blush, I have the Hot Mama. And it is. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if that's the color, it's just the Hot Mama. But yeah, so that's the one I have. And it's kind of this like really pretty. Now this one came, arrived to me broken and they actually did replace this one for me and I got this from Kohl's, but um, they did replace it, but it's still functional. I leave it at home anyway. So going back with my little brush I use for my bronzer, put that in the blush. <sighs> Cheeks. And then just kind of just a little bit above where I put the bronzer. Anytime I feel like I need to, I just kind of reapply powder as I go if I feel like I need to. Um, and then this is where my Mary Luminizer comes in. Now I have this one and then I also have this one. This is the Luminizer's, Luminizer Quad and this is lovely as well. And these are highlighters and you can also use them as eyeshadows and I actually use a couple of them as eyeshadows but you can see there's Mary Luminizer there, there's Penny Lou, Emma Lou, and Cindy Lou. And depending on how I'm feeling on my cheeks, I'll either use the Mary Lou or sometimes I'll use the Cindy Lou. It just kind of depends. Um, today I'm going to go ahead and use this one, which is actually my Mary Luminizer, the compact, because I'm going to use the mirror. So I just put a little bit, and I have this little weird eco brush. No idea what it's called. It doesn't say. My cats have chewed on it, because that's what they do. And just kind of over the top of everything else. I'm probably not even doing this in the right order. Someone's probably going to yell at me for it, but it is what it is. Let me see something real quick because there you go. I'm trying to keep an eye on how long the video is going. Sorry. Um, so there's that. I just put a little bit on there and I feel like it really does kind of, you know, brighten things up a lot, I think. And on my nose, right there, on my chin. And then I do that a little bit on my forehead. And that's that. Okay. So now we're going to do eyebrows. So. Alright, like I said, I have my Eco Tools brushes. This is just an angled brush. And I use it for my eyebrows. This doesn't even have anything in it anymore. I just like it for the spoolie on it because I use that. Um, to brush out my eyebrows. And of course, there's cat hair on it because my cats like to knock them down. All right, so we're gonna try and attempt to do this and I'm hoping that you guys will be able to see. Okay, now I do have eyebrows. I try really hard not to over pluck my eyebrows because I kind of feel like I don't really have a whole lot to donate to the universe. But um, I have what's kind of traditional for, or typical I guess for a lot of eyebrows that are for Asian people especially Koreans and that's my eyebrows don't always grow they don't really fill in like they're there but they don't always fill in everywhere I feel like they should be so that's why I fill my brows in and then also it allows me to change their color because my hair is this plummy aubergine color and not its natural well at my age gray so okay so I got my tissue because this always takes me a bit of doing Um, and I'm trying not to take, make this like into an 8,000 hour video. Sorry. Also, my eyebrows, um, tend to grow straight across. I'm sure you've probably seen that a lot too, where they just kind of grow straight across. So I actually have to make my arch artificially. But I do some under plucking and then that sort of thing. Okay. So I'm going into the, um, Kat Von D Aubergine Eyebrow Pomade. And I'm hoping you guys can see this. Sorry if you can't, but I have to see. And I just kind of go in and just kind of connect all the areas where I don't have any hair or it's like really, really sparse. And I just kind of fill it in. 
Now I do something that you're probably not supposed to do and I'll go backwards because it actually kind of goes and it actually gets to the root of the hair better I think and kind of helps to keep it more uniform looking. I don't know. And I kind of do both sides at the same time so that way I can try and keep them as even as possible. Um, I'm like slouching. Do my golem slouch side. Concentration. The concentration. Dun dun dun. Um, I have loved this eyebrow pomade since I got it, but the only thing I will say is that um, it does tend to dry out, and that's kind of a bummer. Because then it's just like really, really thick. And it's definitely a lot more pasty than you would think that it needed to be. So what I do is I actually put lavender essential oil in mine. And that works pretty well. And this is where I go and I check to see if my eyebrows are even. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. And I scratch my eyebrows and I look, do I look even? Do I look really surprised? Do I look like they're okay? <laughs> So, this is where I do all the fine tuning, spoolie. I'm going to kind of come this over, spoolie this side. Okay. And then I just kind of work on it a little bit until I think it's about right. And then I will use the eyeshadow here in just a second to kind of finish up whatever little wandering stray hairs I have and that sort of thing. Okay. for a second. And that's the brush I use for the pomade. And so I don't want to obviously put that into my eyeshadow, so I set that on the side. Okay. Um, so we'll give that a whirl. Now if I have any areas where I feel like I've kind of gone over or it doesn't look quite the way I want to, I just get the tissue. And I kind of go back and I kind of clean things up a bit before I move on to the eye um, to the eyeshadow just to make sure that everything looks as good as it should. And I look to see if I have any like little weird stray hairs or anything or any place I might have missed. And so my eyebrows tend to take me the longest of anything that I do. And that's because there's two of them <laughs> and they have to be somewhat even. And I am not always the greatest at getting them even because they're just kind of appendages on my face. All right, so um, I think that's probably as good as it's gonna get with that. So now this is the Meat Matchmaker. And in this amazing palette, there is this Lisa Campbell color right here and it is a lovely aubergine type color that looks really good on my eyebrows even though it has a bit of a shimmer to it I don't mind the shimmer in my eyebrows I think it kind of adds a little something something so I don't mind it I've got a curling iron background I keep throwing paper at it okay so I just have another little angle brush here it's a little one, also from EcoTools. That's pretty much the standard for all my makeup brushes, like I said, are EcoTool. Um, so I just put a little bit on my brush. And I'm just gonna go in and it just kind of fills in anything that I might not have gotten with the pomade. 
And I think that's a little bit of shimmer too. It just kind of adds another little dimension that I really kind of like. I'm kind of digging lately, honestly. I think it helps it to look really good with my eyebrow or with my hair. My hairs. My hair. Again, anything that I don't feel like I have done very well, I will just kind of go back through and take care of that. Get the tissue. Sorry if you guys can hear my air conditioner. I don't know if it's as loud to y'all as it is to me. I don't know how much the speaker on my phone picks up. Okay. Uh, Pitch. So, I'm back in with the tissue. And I'm going to clean up anything that I feel like I need to. Kind of get my lines kind of crisp. Now, I do have a couple of little straight hairs right here that I'm just going to go ahead and get really quick while I am seeing them. Because I feel like that's kind of what's messing me up here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and dust off in case I have any fallout. And that's my eyebrows. And they look pretty even. I mean, all things considered. Okay. Um, I am going to put on some lip balm though because my lips are really chapped. Or at least feeling really chapped. And I do want to do some lipstick with y'all, so. Get that on her. Uh -oh. Isn't that like the most attractive face ever? It's so lovely. It's so nice. What a terrible word. Okay. I digress. Sorry. I get off on a tangent. Before you know it, take it off. Okay. So we're back to my lovely Eco Tool collection. There's my um, So I'm actually going to use this lightest. One Emma Lou. I use this actually in my eyebrow. I don't know if you're supposed to. I don't know if it matters. I like it. It's nice and pale. And it's literally the whitest um, colored eyeshadow that I have or makeup that I have. So that's where she goes. Oh, and I love that there's a mirror here too. Did I just mention that? There's like mirrors everywhere and I absolutely love that. And I think that's like, and they're actually mirrors. They're not like the weird little plastic ones. So just in my eyebrow, on my brow bone. Not that I have a whole lot of brow bone to offer the world, but I got a little bit of something. Okay. That's there. And then I will do a little bit like here and here in a minute. So be on the lookout for that. Okay. Um, this is probably gonna make people crazy because this is how I do my eyeshadow all the time. <laughs> have I mentioned I am not a professional? Okay, so there is a Kate. Chaveron. Chaveron. Yeah, Kate Chaveron. This one right here. And that goes all over my eyelid. So. And it's. And I have this weird little fat angle brush that I use. So, yeah. I think this is the longest I've ever taken into my makeup, too. Okay. Mm hmm. And then I just do that. Then I have this little beauty, and it's kind of a rounded brush. And then I decide what color I kind of want to make sense. So we'll do this pat the most color right here. And like I said, I don't have a lot of real estate, so I have like a little bit of a area there. And that's kind of where this was gonna go. And it's very pigmented. These eyeshadows are like super pigmented. Did I mention? Um, I definitely love how pigmented they are. Back my little funny angle thing. I'm just gonna blend that because it's like. I guess this is like my version of a transition, I guess. And if I need to, I add a little bit more of that Kate Chaveron. Kind of help 
help to mellow it out a little bit. This is like the world's worst makeup tutorial ever. Okay. Um, makeup is okay, maybe? I don't know, what do I know? Okay, so I don't know if you can see or not. It's very, um, kind of like, hello pigmentation, it's so lovely to meet you. All right, so that's that. And then I have this little roundy weird, weird, weird blah, 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 language, little weird rounded brush. And, oh, I don't know, what color shall I use? Maybe the Jamie Wong. I think that's kind of pretty. And it's a green color. So we're going to see how this goes. So I just kind of go in here and then I kind of pull it up a little bit. And it's kind of a V, I guess. I don't know. Does this count as a V? It looks kind of V-ish. And you can see my eyes look so much more slanted now. Yeah, so kind of... And then, don't worry, I will be blending this back out again because it will make me nuts if I don't. Just saying. So, kind of out. And I try to like get them to like end at like similar places, like And then back with my funny little brush. And then I just kind of blend. And I don't know if this is even remotely right. It works for me in the shape of my eyes. And without making me look like, um, you know, I'm dressed up for dollar horn night on the corner or something. Okay. So, if I feel like I need to add a little more, I do so. And I just kind of lightly dust it in because I know I'm going to blend it right back out. And that's that. Um, I will put, let's see, I have another. So then I have this like teeny tiny little angle brush. And I will actually go in to that green. And I'm actually going to go right underneath my eyelashes. With that. Sorry, can you see? More importantly, can I see? Okay. And that's that. And so that's pretty much what I'm going to do for eyeshadow. Um, because again, I don't have a lot of real estate, so there's really not a whole lot of point, you know, there's really not a whole lot of point of dwelling on the subject. I just don't have a lot, and I'm okay. So, oh my. Isn't this the cutest little thing? This little vintage, it's actually a tea light holder, a little can or votive holder, but um, my Roger got it for me for Mother's Day, and I think it's so pretty, this little vintage pink glass candle holder, and so I use it to put my brushes in, because I think it's super cute. Okay, going back to borrow the mirror in the Mary Luminizer Compact, I'm going to curl my lashes, which is always I don't know who invented these torture things. I don't know why we continue to use them, but we do. So curling, and I kind of curl all the way up because I don't really have a whole lot on the way of eyelashes. And this is like seriously like the most attractive thing you've ever seen in your entire life. Oh, look how sexy I am. Isn't it wonderful, Kyle? It's so great. It's an eyelash curler. Yeah, it's weird. But it does the job. What you gonna do? Okay, so 
Now before I do um, mascara, I'm going to put my nose ring back on before I forget. Okay, that's working. And that also another sexy look. The uh, putting in of the nose ring. Oh, and here comes my Lupin. You coming to say hi? Hmm? Isn't he beautiful? He's so sweet. He's actually kind of mad at me still though, because he had a bath on Sunday. Which I was kind of surprised at how much he hated the bath, because he's always in the shower when I'm in the shower. So, not sure what that's all about. Okay. This is the, um, I love this eyeliner. I love how easy it is to apply. It is the Schwing Black Matte Eyeliner from The Balm. Love, love, love this eyeliner. As far as application, um, how pigmented it is, and that it dries completely matte. What I don't like is that it's not waterproof, and I have naturally watery eyes. So, I will go ahead and do the look for you, but just know that probably 10 minutes after I'm done with it, it will have then decided to migrate down my face. Because as beautiful as it is, and as wonderful as it is, I honestly wish the balm would come out with something like this, but waterproof. I think that would be amazing. Okay, so another one of those like where I have to get super close up. Again, don't have a lot of real estate, so I try to do my eyeliner as thin as possible. So that you can still see the eyeshadow, otherwise what would be the point? Um, one nice thing about being half Korean is that my eyes are naturally slanted. So even with just mascara on, my eyes are naturally kind of cat-eyed anyway. Doe-eyed, whatever. So there's that one. And my eyes are also not the same. So I do my eyeliner different for both eyes, but when my eyes are open, they look the same, but they're really not the same. Just kind of a side note. When I was growing up, my mom said that the one eye that always had a crease, she always said that that was my American side, and then the side that was very hooded and did not have a crease, she called that my Korean side, which I always found fascinating because I actually thought that really mattered. I thought it actually worked that way. But I was born in 1975, and when I was growing up, honestly, there really weren't a whole lot of um, mixed kids in the areas that I grew up in for some reason. There were some, but there really weren't a lot. So, now it just has to dry. And as you can see, they kind of look a little different, but it'll all work out in the end. Um, this is the Mad Lash Black Mascara. And this is probably one of my all-time favorite mascaras. This is some seriously legit mascara. It has a brush like this. It actually smells good. All of their cosmetics are not really scented, like hardly at all. And what you can smell, and like the lipsticks or like on the foundation, is honestly it smells like essential oils, which is one of the things I absolutely love about this product because I sell Young Living, and I use Young Living for everything except for my makeup, and I was kind of torn about that. But um, honestly, my budget doesn't allow for Young Living cosmetics at this point in time. They are wonderful. I'm sure they're lovely. I just can't afford them. Um, the balm has sales. You can also get them on sale at Kohl's. They sell them other places where you can get them on sale. It was much more affordable and it's still really high quality makeup and they don't have a lot of crap in their makeup, which is something that I was looking for. So just so you're aware. So anyway, so it has like this really cool little, you see that brush? And it's got little spiky spikes. And so the idea is, we'll see how good this works. 
So you kind of go up from the root of your lash all the way up. You just do a little wiggle. If you want you can close your eye. I usually make a mess if I close my eye and try to do it, so yeah. But I think people do that too. It just doesn't work so well for me. Now I have mascara on my eyelid. Oh well. You'll get the point. Um, what I love though is that I can keep applying layers. And honestly, cat hair everywhere. Um you can keep applying layers and it doesn't clump up and get all weird. And that's what I absolutely love. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Did I just like seriously get that in my hair? <laughs> okay. And then we'll do this eyeliner. Um, I used to wear false eyelashes. I love false eyelashes with my current eye my current eyeglass situation. Um, I can't wear them because anything that I wear will get will be too long. It will actually touch my lenses, my glasses. So this is all I get, kids. I make it last. I make it count, I guess. Okay. All right. And there's that. And this video is turning out to be a super long video. I'm going to have to edit it and like shrink it down some. I'm so sorry. And so that is the eye look. Now, we're going to do lips. And then we're done. Okay. Um, the bomb doesn't really have any lip pencils. So I have this one from Avon. It's called True Red. And it's one of those kind that you just like roll up. And it's just, I don't even know if they still have this one. I've had this like forever. Um, I don't typically wear a lot of red lipstick on a normal basis, but now that I've gotten, gotten more into the retro look and stuff, um, I've been wearing a lot more red. So, in my upcoming wedding, it's going to be very kind of 50s themed. It's Harry Potter. That's like Harry Potter in the 50s, which is like super cute, I think, because I'm a dork. So I'm just going to line my lips. I hope you can see this. I don't really have like super thin lips, so I really don't feel the need to like line outside my lips. Now this lipstick does smell a bit like chocolate, like a chocolate mint, and it smells really good. And that is the lipstick. Um, I do love this lipstick. Once I have it set, it stays on like forever. Um, I do reapply a little bit because you know it will fade a little bit, but basically your lips are this color for the duration, and I love that. And now I put my glasses back on. Well, I'll get to see close up now for a change where I have to look like. And so that is my face for the day. Mm, excuse me, sorry, lemonade. 
So, um, I'm so, I'm like, soup? No, I'm so sorry it took so long to do this video. And I hope that, um, you know, you'll come back and visit me some more and that you enjoyed this video. If you liked this makeup tutorial video, please let me know. I would love to make some more videos like this and I'd love to do some hair tutorials and some other things as well. And um, I'm super excited that you were here uh, today with me. Thank you so much and you guys have an amazing day and stay blessed and remember, stay oily my friends. Bye.